lower sideband. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Richard. I'll have, I'll have a... What time's that? You know? Starts at 8.30, mate, and it's run by... Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed. Got something really interesting to show you. Have this radio here. This is a I've got Lily Go T in bed. Very weird sounding radio. Comes in this rather lurid day glow green case. It is available in more subtle colours. I quite like the grey one or black or crystal. But basically what we've got is the 4732 radio enclosed in a much more user-friendly case it's slightly bigger and also we have a bit strange that it's orange but we have an encoder here which is bigger and dual function instead of having to click the encoder we have a separate click control in the middle there feels quite nice let's get it on the bench and have a look at it this is certainly interesting i've never seen anything like this before Firstly, we will have a look at the box because they've made a bit of effort here. It comes in this rather nice plastic box with a foam case here for travelling. And then in the bottom, simple little SMA extendable antenna, about uh, 45 to 50 centimetres long. And then there are some very basic instructions now what i kind of get the um the idea that this is sort of an expansion type project because it's showing on the board here it's showing you lots of different expansion sockets so although this is sent as a radio as a 4732 radio i think it'll do it will do many other things if you're into programming Certainly interesting. Comes with like a little link there for a 3D printed shell. So the radio itself, like I say, much larger case than we've had before, which I don't think is a particularly bad thing. And I notice at the back of the case, when that's where you've got this gold SMA female socket, it's removable. It's held on with four magnets. So we can just pull this away and it is quite tight. There we go. And then we can have a look at the circuit board itself you could remove the battery I guess if you wanted to and there is a little breakout socket there again for I imagine firmware updates and also reprogramming and that clips on quite tight has a conventional USB-C seems to be running a sort of a mix from the original firmware that we had on the, the first Spy radio, but they seem to have sorted out that very fast menu time. Let's zoom in and we have a closer look. Now the first thing that I'd like, although it's orange, is this encoder here. Um, very, very nice feeling, and being larger, very easy to control. The only problem I've got is that it's running in reverse on the uh, tuning on the VFO. So at the moment, if you go, you go clockwise and it goes down, that was an issue on some of the early versions of this radio and it was a quick fix in firmware. And I think this one will be the same thing. So it's a little annoying, I must admit. But other than that, it feels really, really nice. And as I said before, we have a separate push button now to go into the menu system and they seem to have sorted out the quick timeout as well because for single press this puts us into all the different bands of course and when you're in the menu system the orientation of this uh, uh, VFO works I don't think there's any way to change it in the uh, in the menu itself unfortunately but there's all your shortwave bands going right the way through very very good it will time out but it's just that little bit longer and then to get into the other settings we do a double press 
there we go and again we've got the volume step mode mode all of the functions that were there on the 4732 before just just that bit easier with the with the control there just a shame it's working uh, it's working the wrong, wrong way round as far as the radio goes on off switch is just there it took me a while to find that. It does have a little built-in laptop type speaker, USB-C of course, multi-socket there for additional projects I would imagine. That's really about it. That's a nice phone well, battery. in deep trouble at the moment. They have until the 20th of August to convince the National League that they can be financially stable. So the uh, speaker doesn't sound too bad. It does distort when you go up to maximum volume. But I've just noticed that there's no headphone socket no 3.5 millimeter jack which is a bit strange so you are relying on that speaker let's have a little flick about see what we get up in the shack but it doesn't completely soft mute until one o'clock um we have tried we have tried and i i you know and you mentioned a few of them just then um it's really difficult at the moment with you know the cost of living crisis stagnant wages a really tough um, Interesting little concept, this radio. Do like the tuning VFO. So much easier to tune it than uh, the little knob that you normally get. Sounds pretty good as well with the built-in speaker. Much improved on those tiny little speakers that you got with the original Spy radios. Not quite sure about the encoder going the wrong way though. I'm sure that can be fixed with a firmware update. It's only working quite well in the shack. Yeah, as I was saying, we're all different, aren't we? Some of us yeah. cars just a way to get from A to B so long as it's comfy. And Still got the same don't double don't click mind. though. I am grateful for all the people that buy the new cars so that I have the option of yes, to the yeah, second hand mark. So yeah, there we go. I mean, it's something a little bit different, isn't it? Available in different colours as well. Um, it's missing a headphone socket. We do have got a USB-C. I don't know if there's audio from the USB-C. I haven't really got anything to test that with, unfortunately. And there's a bit more colour on the screen, I've just noticed, than the original firmware. So yeah, it's certainly something a little bit different. I think if you were looking at these little tiny radios, but you were put off because they were so small and it had such a small speaker, this one uh, might be quite interesting to you. And bearing in mind, it doesn't you don't have to get this lurid green colour. It does come in a variety of colours. I think mainly though it's designed for the kind of experimentation really with that uh, breakout socket at the back there. I imagine you can program this to you to your heart's content i'm sure it does a lot of other things other than just a radio but certainly something a little bit different if you're interested there will be a link to this in the description this came from banggood i do get a discount so uh, there will be a little bit of a few quid i can uh, hopefully save you there but anyway i hope that was interesting i thought it was anyway so uh, as always cheers thanks for watching thanks for tuning in always appreciate you on fred in the shed take care 
and yeah, catch you on the next video. Cheers, guys. Fred's in the shed where the magic unfolds. Fred in the shed with his trusty CB. He's a friend to the lonely on a frequency.